You're so useless. I said that I wanted chamomile tea, not butterfly bee flower tea. So stupid. You can do anything right at all. Hurry up and clean up this mess on the floor, then get out. Oh, don't you worry about that. I'm just giving my maze a lesson. Of course, I have that right because I am the favorite daughter of the third richest billionaire family in France. And of course, I live my life like a real princess. Hello, I'm Chrissy. Please like and subscribe before I continue the story. I was born in a billionaire family. Yeah, you can tell I'm that one rich kid who was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I grew up in the unconditional love of my parents. And living in a classic French castle is incredibly wonderful and magnificent. Being from third richest family in France, I learned ballet, play violin, painting, all taught by the most professional teachers. And so, apart from learning, I didn't have to do anything. I had maids that would serve me 24-7, from everyday meals to preparing my clothes and doing my hair. That's right, I live like a princess in modern world and I am proud of my filthy rich family. Princesses <laughs> usually love flowers and so do I. I'm obsessed with flowers. I even used my big crowd puppy eyes to beg my dad to plant a garden full of red roses. And of course, he agreed. You know, like in comic. The princess in the middle of large rose garden and her hair is blowing in the wind. Oh dear, I really want to be like that. And no need to worry about how much it costs. I mean, I'm very rich. It's never a problem to me. I have money so I can buy anything I want. I love luxury clothes and high-end handbags. Because look at where I'm at now. I'm not gonna dress like an ordinary person. And I would never wear the same clothes twice. I get so angry when they don't prepare food exactly how I want it. I want medium rare steak. Not well done. And this maid, how dare she ruin my expensive dress? Yes, unlike my good-looking appearance, my personality is nowhere that good. At school, I was famous, so I had a lot of friends, and of course... <gasps> not to mention the boys who were falling hard for me. <laughs> These lame, flashy guys really bored me. One day, I was enjoying a beautiful sunny day in the garden. All of a sudden, what the hell is that? <coughs> hey, don't you see me sitting here? How dare you interrupt my space? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Wait, I thought the garden was an old man. My dad fired him to hire an idiot like you. And I thought the way you speak should be as beautiful as how you look. Guess I was wrong. Stop mumbling and go get my cat down from the tree, you idiot. I still have a lot of work to do, ma'am. Now, if you will, excuse me. What? Who is this guy? I'll fight you. After that, I tried to convince my dad to fight that new guy, but he didn't agree. Our old gardener was injured. Joss will be good replacement because he's very skillful. I can just fight him. So, his name is Joss. Fine. If I can't fight you, I'll make your life a living hell. So the next day, I ordered 20 grow bags and told him that it was necessary to plant trees. Then I made Jaws carry them along to the garden. I made him trim a big tree into my shape. <laughs> it felt so good to make Jaws struggle. What? He actually did it! How could it be possible? Another time, I told Jaws to water all the roses in my garden for 15 minutes. And again, he finishes right in 50 minutes. The more I try to mess with Joss, the better he did the job in everything. This guy is definitely not human. I hated him, but since I saw Joss happy talking to other people for the first time, I felt strange. I never seen him smile like that before. He looks so happy. No matter how much I try, all the happy were nothing compared to Joss. One day, I was reading a book under the tree, and suddenly someone came in front of me. It was Joss. He was holding a big bouquet of roses. I remember talking about getting a bouquet of roses, but I didn't ask you to do it. But I'm the main gardener, man. Just gave me the bouquet and left. <gasps> oh! He picked the most beautiful roses and wrapped them so nice and carefully, even though he didn't like me. 
He didn't seem as unpleasant <laughs> as I thought. The next morning, while I was watching the rose garden, I met Joss. Oh, good morning, Lady Chrysis. Do you need me to get out of your space? Stop mocking me and do your work. I tried to ignore him, but... Suddenly, I saw a big worm wiggling. Wait, what's that? My heart was beating so fast. Why did I feel so weird? Yeah, thanks for helping me. No problem. I love this garden. I'm just trying to protect them. I also love this garden. And is it okay if I wanted to help you to take care of it? If you wanted to, as you please. Since then, everything has changed. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> I began to follow Joss to the garden, watched him taking care of it. And he told me to water it. Of course, I said no. Yuck! Lady Chrissy, you said you wanted to help. So I think you should take this watering can and do it. You are not just gonna watch me do all the work. So, I did. Of course, I wasn't very happy. One day, I was painting a picture. Then, I saw Joss. That wasn't a part of his job, wasn't it? Why did he have to help other people? He's such a weird guy. Why did he always laugh like that? It was like he never got tired. And why was I always so curious about Joss? I hate how I feel about him at the moment. I should have hated him and made him live in hell. Why did I no longer feel like that anymore? One day, when I was trimming the flowers and plants with Joss, a maid came to us. Joss... Please take a break and have a drink. <gasps> Lady Chrissy? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. I only prepare a drink for one. Thank you, it looks good. Lady Chrissy will definitely like it. What the hell? She was wrong and you complimented her. She just didn't know. I think you should forgive and thank them for taking care of you all this time. He seemed a lot different from other guys. Just was a kind, hardworking man. That's why everyone loves him. And probably, including me. No, maybe I have fallen in love with him. Uh, I hate to admit it. Lady Grissy, what are you doing out here this early? I just feel like I want to water the garden. Thank you. It looks delicious. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Well, as you can see, I've changed a lot. Maybe because of love. I didn't know exactly when Joss and I was getting closer. We picked beautiful roses together. We shared an apple under the tree with sun drops reaching over our shoulders at where we first met. But this time, we didn't hate each other anymore. One day, I woke up with a scream coming from outside. When I went out to see what was going on, I saw my mom looked very anxious and angry. Mom, what's wrong? I'm gonna have a very important meeting for today, but I can't find my sapphire necklace. I just bought it yesterday. Ma'am, we found your necklace. In the room of a gardener named Joss. What? This makes no sense. Mom, I know Joss. He's a good person. He would never do something like this. Stop it, Chrissy. They found a necklace in his room. If not him, then who else? I'll find him. You can't keep a thief in the house. I'm still shocked by what just happened. Joss had always been the kindest guy of all time. No way that he would do something like that. I need to find Joss. I want to know what's behind this. But I can't find him. Where could he be? I went back to my room worrying. How could Joss laugh so quickly? But then suddenly... <gasps> I saw a piece of paper under the door of my room. Hmm? What's this? I'm very ashamed of what I did. I'm sorry for leaving without being able to see you for the last time. Please, forgive me. No way! Did Joss really do it? I can't believe Joss stole that blue sapphire necklace and now he couldn't meet you because he feels ashamed. <laughs> That's right. Wait. How did you know that necklace is blue? Uh, a few days ago, ma'am showed us the necklace. My mom just bought it yesterday and I haven't seen it yet. And also, how did you know Just said he couldn't see me because he felt ashamed? I don't remember showing you the letter. Yeah, I'm...
Wait, was that you made it all of? <laughs> yes, it was me. I'm too sick of your personality. Even though people began to like you more because you had changed. But I only remember how you've been treating me all this time. I'm really sorry for what I did. But you don't have to drag an innocent man like Joss into this. Do you think I really care? I just want to watch you suffer just like how you made me suffer. My plan has succeeded. I will leave now. There's no reason to stay. At this point, I felt terrible for what I've done that caused all this. What should I do now? I don't want to lose him, but my mom won't believe me. This is all my fault. Mom? I heard everything. Just wasn't a thief. I really liked him because he has made you change into a better person. So, keep him. He hasn't left yet. Oh, mommy! As soon as I heard that, I immediately ran to find Joss. I need to be quick or I will lose him forever. Joss, please wait! Chrissy? Why are you in such a hurry? I heard everything, Joss. You're not the one who stole the necklace. The maid tried to frame you. Joss, you're innocent. I thought you wouldn't believe me. I never believed you would do something like that. I knew you. Because I always been watching you. And I've become a better person because of you. Because I love you, Joss. Oh, well, I didn't expect that. Oh, what a surprise. I also fell in love with you, Lady Chrissy. So, should we kiss now? Of course, ma'am. Hey guys, you are probably wondering what's going on. My name is Lena, and the angry person over there is Lenny, my twin sister. Before I begin, please like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Arguing with your sibling is one of the common things in the household. But to me and Lenny, even though we are twins, we are not close at all. In fact, there is some distance between us. My parents were in love and got married. Half a year later, my mom was pregnant with identical twin girls, me and Lenny. But after the time she gave birth to us, their relationship had become tense. And a few months later, they decided to divorce. In the end, my mom took care of us after the broken marriage with our dad. Would that be the new beginning of our better life? Unfortunately, that better life was not meant for me, but for my younger sister, Lenny. I was the one who always had to do all the housework why my mom and my sister were just laying around doing nothing. They didn't even bother asking or care about how tired I was. Every time we are having meals, they always pick the delicious food first and left the table when they feel full. And look, they left me all the leftovers. I had no choice but to eat them to overcome my hunger. Even though I had to live in a family like that, my academic achievements were very good. I always got first rank in the tests and exams. I was really proud of myself. But my mom didn't see it that way. Because Lenny had a much lower academic performance than me, she got upset and frustrated whenever my sister fell behind me. <sighs> Before that, I found it difficult to understand why mom always hated me and loves Lenny. Until I started talking to my dad more often and it has become a little happiness in my daily life. We only talked a few times a week and I was surprised that we had a lot in common. My father is truly a kind person. Moreover, he is also very resourceful and capable. Maybe my intelligence is fully inherited from him. And Lenny is truly a copy with a personality identical to our mother Rosaline. Perhaps that's why she got more love from mom. She was like a manifestation of my mom herself. Therefore, the relationship between my sister and me was really terrible. Lenny didn't even consider me her sister and always find ways to make me suffer. One day, I stay up late to work on my thesis to submit to my teacher tomorrow morning. Lenny sneaked into the room in the midnight and took my thesis away while I was sleeping. That little brick threw my thesis in the trash bin and laughed about it. Oh my god, <laughs> I was super annoyed just by looking at that face. Where's my thesis? Yes, I started a new day in a stay of stream panic. <laughs> Lenny, I'm sure you hide my thesis. Where is this? Give 
come back to me. I don't understand what you're saying. Why don't you shut up and find it yourself? This naughty prick. Huh? Oh no, I found my thesis in the trash bin on top of those dirty things. I didn't even have time to worry because I already spent too much time looking for my thesis. I had to run straight to school. Thanks to my luck, she still accepted the dirty smelling thesis. Mm, even though the cray I got was really bad. I jerked through the school hallway. I can't stand Lenny's stupid behavior anymore. Suddenly, I met Mike, my best friend. <laughs> Mike was like sunshine, and he always brightened me up whenever I feel sad. Later, what's wrong? You don't seem okay at all. That spoiled brat. I'm about to go crazy. She always tried to annoy me in every possible way. It's really outrageous. Lenny doesn't see me as her sister at all. I definitely need to leave this house as soon as possible. Oh, just forget about her. You are more beautiful when you're not angry. Everything will be fine eventually. Do you want to go to the canteen to get some sweet? Wow, how about croissant? Of course, let's go then. And like that, from these small moments, Mike and I became closer. He has become an important part of my life. It was hard to explain, as I saw him like rays of sunshine warming me in a cold winter. Since when? I have butterfly in my stomach every time I see him. I know, I have feelings for you, but what about you? We still often hang out together, and every day it becomes the happiest memories in my dull youth. I feel like my has changed a bit. I can see in those gentle eyes, it was just me. Do you think Mike fell in love with me, just like how I am infatuated with him? That day, Mike took me home, the sunset shining brightly on the road we walk, burning light my heart right now, and suddenly… Mike? We have also been very close friends, but recently, I feel like I have a strange feelings for you. You have become very sparkling and beautiful in my eyes. So, is there any chance for us? <gasps> in my eyes, you are also sparkling. When my heart was racing, Lenny was there, glaring at us. I wasn't expecting that my little sister also had a crush on Mike for a long time which made her hate me even more. <coughs> Lenny ran into her mom's room. She cried and told her everything she saw. Of course, mom would be angry about that. She loved Lenny more than herself. I have an idea. You pretend to be Lena, asking him to go out for a date, then act rude to make him from liking to hating Lena. Then you will have a chance to approach Mike. You and her are twins, just wear a wig, and no one will recognize you. Wow, that's a great idea, mommy. The next morning, Lena wore a wig, dressed like me. Lena, <laughs> and then she went to find Mike. Hey, Mike, let's go eat ice cream after school. There's an ice cream truck nearby. It has many unique flavors. Of course, Lena. <laughs> Things go smoothly. See you later, Lena. Mike, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, mm. Lena, why are you so hurry? We still have time. Oh, it's nothing. I just don't want to ruin our date. If I don't take my away, Lena will see him. Lena, are you okay? You're acting strange today. Is there something wrong? Yes, there is something wrong. What? This. Let's break up. I don't love you anymore. Huh? M Mike, listen to me. It's not what you think. Mike, Mike, listen to me. I've been looking for Mike to go home together, but I couldn't find him. Hello? Mike, where are you? What? Oh my god. I couldn't believe what I heard. My sister pretended to be me to ruin my relationship. Yes, her old sister. I've had enough. I can't believe how could you do that to me. Why do you always have to find ways to make me suffer? That's your position in this house. Stop with that ugly attitude. What you should do is to give Mike to Lenny. That's how it should be, right? Everything always goes smoothly for you. 
Isn't it sounds unfair to me? So, what's wrong if I want Mike? Am I really your giant mom? Why did you always try to instill hatred toward me in Lenny's head? Why did you always despise and reject me as if I'm not your child? After saying that, I couldn't bear it any longer. I walked out the door and ran away, away from the people I consider family. The street was crowded and bustling, distracting with my heavy heartiness at the moment. <laughs> Dad? Hello, Lena? Dad? Hearing the voice of my dad, my eyes were burst into tears. I told him everything. I will come to your place right now. Go back your things to move in with me. I was surprised after hearing what he said. Although it was a big certain, I felt happy that my dad cared about me. And I finally could escape from that house. I think I still need to call Mike to let him know that I'm moving out. He's the only person that I will miss about this place. Oh, really? That's great, Lena. It would be better for you to separate from your mom and Lenny. But that also means that we have to be apart. I really cherish our relationship. That's not a problem, Lena. I'll come to you, no matter how long it takes. <gasps> His gentle words calmed the storm inside me. I knew that I could trust him. After talking with Mike, I went home to pack my things. As soon as I opened the door, is the outrageous? In front of me was a mess of my stuff laying around the floor. They intended to keep me out of the house. You really want to keep me out of the house? How cruel of you! That's right, for the best of us three. Hurry up and get out! She will stay with me. Dad? My dad appeared like a god, rescued me from this miserable life. I got accepted into university, and needless to say, the atmosphere in the new environment is truly wonderful. And you know what? Mike and I still maintain a good relationship. He also got into the same university I'm studying at. After all the pain I had in the past, now I get to live a truly wonderful life. Oh, it's him. It's been a long time since we saw each other. He did keep his promise <laughs> that he would come to me no matter how long it takes.